This is an NBC News special report. Here's Lester Holt. Good day, everyone. We're coming on the air with breaking news. It has to do with golf superstar Tiger Woods, who has been injured in a serious car accident in Palos Verdes, California, just outside Los Angeles. Woods has been hospitalized reportedly with multiple leg injuries and is undergoing surgery. It's not yet clear how seriously he's been injured, but we do know the SUV he was driving, he was the sole occupant, went off the road and rolled over shortly after 7 this morning, California time, leaving it seriously damaged and forcing first responders to use the Jaws of Life power tool to extricate him from the wreck. Gotti Schwartz is in Los Angeles and has more reporting on this. Gotti, what do we know? Hey, good evening, Lester. Yeah, looking at that video from the helicopters above, you get a sense of just how violent this crash was. We know that the Tiger Woods was the only person inside this SUV and the jaws of life were used. And when you look at that crash, you can see why. It appears as though the entire engine of the front of that SUV has been almost sheared off. Now, we're getting a little bit of a sense as to what might have happened from some of the debris that's uh, nearby. Uh, it appears as though this happened on Hawthorne Boulevard in Palos uh, Verdes. And we're getting a little bit of a better picture from some of that debris field. It appears as though he was traveling northbound, crossed southbound, crashed into some sign that was sitting in the median and ended up quite a ways away facing the opposite direction up on that embankment with all of the airbags appear uh, appear to have been deployed and and again the entire engine from that car or from that SUV is missing now we know he was here in California for a two-day television shoot after hosting the PGA Tour Genesis Invitational over the weekend part of that included giving some well-known celebrities like Dwayne Wade and David Spade golf lessons yesterday uh, all of that was happening at the Rolling Hills Golf Course. Uh, again, this crash happened at about 7 o'clock in the morning. It's unclear if he was headed to the Rolling Hills Golf Course or possibly headed uh, away from the Rolling Hills Golf Course. But at this point, we know that he's got extensive injuries to both his legs, according to his agent, and is undergoing emergency surgery at a Harborview Hospital. So th that's the latest we have on his condition. But just taking a, a look at the damage on that vehicle. Again, you can imagine uh, what kind of injuries he must have had uh, with his legs near that cavity where, where the engine was and all those airbags deployed, the jaws of life being used to pull him out of the vehicle once emergency responders first got there. Yeah, remarkable. Let's the front end of that vehicle just obliterated. All right, uh, Gotti Schwartz, thank you. Also standing by for us is Mike Tirico of NBC Sports. Mike, there's no bigger name in golf than Tiger Woods. You may or may not know the game, but you certainly know who he is. Uh, we all do, uh, Lester, without question. Tiger's been a part of the sports conversation really for three decades. Uh, he came out uh, way back as a youth on the old Mike Douglas TV show. His dad always wanted him to be a golfer, and he was out there with Bob Hope hitting golf balls at a very young age. And Tiger's been on the stage. He's been in the headlines for his play. He's been in the headlines for uh, things that have gone wrong off the golf course. He has been involved in multiple surgeries. He had just a couple of months ago had his fifth procedure on his back. His back and neck and knee injuries have really shorted what was on the way pace to be the greatest career in the sport. Some may say it still is. He's won 82 times as much as anyone tied with Sam Snead for the all-time record. 15 major championships. Jack Nicklaus has won 18. But Lester, it's the crossover. It's the fact that no matter golf fan or not, you know who Tiger Woods is. You recognize him, not just here in the States and around the world. It has everybody buzzing here today. A towering figure in sports indeed. All right, uh, Mike Tirico, thanks again. 45-year-old Tiger Woods, one of the greatest golfers and certainly one of the best-known sports figures of all time, in surgery right now at this hour with multiple leg injuries following a serious solo car accident this morning in California. We'll have full details coming up on NBC Nightly News. For now, I'm Lester Holt, NBC News, New York. Good day, everyone. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.